Well, hey there, everybody. Hey, I bought the cheapest uh, stainless steel sink off of Amazon. I wanted to put it here in my greenhouse. Um, was sort of laughing because I got this uh, about a day after it arrived. It says that my uh, package may be lost, but it's here. I sent an email back to the uh, contact the seller saying that it arrived. Um, so I'm happy. And I'm getting ready to open this thing up. It's a very cheap stainless steel sink, uh, deep sink. I'm going to be hooking it up so that way I got water coming into the greenhouse and I can, you know, do some potting and stuff in here with the sink. Uh, it's only one uh, temperature, it's only cold water, of course. So it's just going to hook up to the garden hose, do a quick disconnect. But let's open this thing up and see what it really looks like because this is a cheap. Uh, stainless steel sink. It's about, um, it's under $100. I think I paid like $80 for it. Now it's on sale for like $56 because the season changed or something, but it went really cheap. Uh, so under $100 for a stainless steel sink. I don't know what this is going to look like, so let's open it up and check it out. They did package it pretty good. This thing's taped all the way around. I don't even think I'll be able to recycle this thing. So, open it up. Lots and lots of tape. This thing was so taped. I haven't had anything this taped for a long time. And it's not really that heavy. Um, you know, pick it up with one hand. I'd say probably about 30 pounds, if that. So, not very heavy either. Uh, let's go ahead and open it the rest of the way up, see what's inside. So, lots of pieces and parts. It is freestanding. A little bit of a, a pipe tape there. A couple gloves. Keep myself from cutting. Looks like the legs. Of course, some styrofoam. Some instructions. I think that's Chinese. I don't know for sure. But it looks like it might be Chinese. But there's pictures. Uh, some screws and some foot pieces. Here's the faucet on off. Go ahead and take that out and give you a good look at it. Not bad. It's actually metal with a plastic handle here and brass. So that's good. Hose connection. Have to figure out how to hook that onto a regular garden hose. Oh, looks like this is a garden hose attachment. So, have to figure that out. Let's go ahead and put that back into the bag here. And this, I don't know what this is, it has a zip tie on it, but it's in a soft bag. Ah, the drain system. So, not bad. Now one of the reasons why I got this thing is I might want to do some cooking in here. Let me find out where I put my knife. And it has a pretty cool drain on it from the pictures that I saw. This is one of the reasons why I bought it. And I'm going to go ahead and take this all the way out. So this is the drain that goes in it, and it has a catch. So that way I won't get nasties down into the uh, drainage system that I'm putting in here. So that's cool. And then for the sink itself, here's the sink. 
make sure I don't have any sharpness on here. Otherwise, I need to wear their glove. But here's the uh, sink. So this is a stainless steel sink. With a little table here, or a little uh, work area that drains out. That's not bad. And then a couple more pieces in here. This looks like it's probably the legs. And it's not really that high, as you can see. Let's go ahead and put that here. And put the box someplace. Styrofoam all over me. So it looks like we got everything we need. I'm just banging stuff all over the place. Uh, the welds are just tack welded. So it should hold up for my greenhouse. Let's put this thing together. Alright, went together pretty easy. Just going to put the sink in, or the actual faucet section in. So that's pretty cool. It has its own little tightening bracket, tightening piece here to tighten down these little screws. Never seen that before. Or to tighten up your hose bolt. I don't know what you call it. If you know what you call these things, put it down in the comments below. So I just checked to see if this thing would fit onto a regular hose. It won't. So I'm going to have to get an adapter to put this tubing onto here. So we'll see. Be back. Alright, so this thing's all fine and dandy. It's going to work just fine if I had a regular water connection to it. But I actually want to hook up something a little bit better. So uh, this piece won't hook on to a garden hose. So, we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. What I did go and do is I went and bought a dishwasher connection. And this dishwasher connection will uh, go into it and also has a garden hose attachment. Plus, it's 8 foot long so I'll be able to feed it out of my garden uh, greenhouse here and do a quick disconnect right into that so that way I can just go up and plug my regular garden hose in so nothing wrong with this that I know of but I'm going to do it a little bit different also don't need the on off switch on this so I'll just have it straight going on to the uh, actual sink here. So the 8 foot length will allow me to go right through the bottom of the greenhouse. So let's go ahead and hook this thing up. Tighten everything down. Should have grabbed my pipe wrench. Or a actual wrench that would fit on here properly. All 
Let me go ahead and grab that really quick. All right. tight here and then for the drain they come with a pretty good drain uh, connection but it doesn't go that far it'll go into your drain for your house maybe it'll go down to the bottom I want a little bit something a little bit longer Not bad. All right, time to set this thing up over where I'm gonna be putting it. Go ahead and flip it around really quick. Not really that sturdy, but hey, for a cheap stainless steel sink, not too worried about it. All right, not too shabby. So this piece right here is going to go all the way under and to the front so I can do a quick disconnect on it. So for the drainage hole, cut a little hole here and my uh, greenhouse panel. This one is actually a small piece that I can replace real easy. So I'm gonna go outside, feed it in, and then put it into this bracket right here. All right, that should work. So I decided to go ahead and use the one that came with the factory. Go ahead and put it in here. There we go. All right, so now put this through. I'm gonna take a piece of electrical tape, throw it over the top. Sure it's on good so it won't come off. Don't want to get any wood chips in my uh, hose connection. And we're all the way outside with it. Like I said, I had a adapter inside this um, little kit for dishwashers. So I'm going to go ahead and hook up this little adapter and with the adapter I already hooked on my quick disconnect for my Flexilla hose so that way I can just plug it in and go push that back in a little bit so we're all set for the flex hill, plus it'll drain in the winter time, so that way this thing won't crack on me. All right, here's my flex villa. Here's my attachment. Water's going to it. Let's go inside and turn it on. All right, this is the first test on this thing. As you can see, I still even have some styrofoam in here. And let's see what happens. Not too shabby. Draining good. No leaks. It's a deeper sink. That way I can fill up my containers really easy. 
This is not bad at all. Real smooth. Let's see how it holds water. Not bad. So, did spray a little bit in the back with the drain. Let me get you down there. All right, so with the full flow of water, as you can see, it is splashing a little bit there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut down the outside pipe a little bit, because it's just trying to push water through that pipe. All right, got the water filling up. Almost to the top. We're gonna pull, and we're looking. And I got everything that could airlock uh, this pipe cleaned and uh, cleared out. Perfect. So that works just great. All right, so now I can take my water, come over here to my plants, and water my plants really good. Just giving a little bit on the top, but I'll fill up the bottom here. And uh, not too bad. All right, hey, this thing's actually better than I thought it would be. Uh, I need to put some weight down here, to keep it from being quite as wiggly. But hey, it is a cheap stainless steel sink. It's deep enough. So I can put my little watering uh, cans here, fill them up uh, when I'm potting. I can put my uh, little containers in here, wet them down, and this is going to be really helpful uh, for my greenhouse. Uh, quick disconnect outside, just goes. Uh, the only thing is. Uh, didn't need this. Um, also, didn't need the on-off connection here. So I didn't need these two. Um, they do work, but I wanted to get something that went actually outside my greenhouse. This would be great if I had some PEX pipe or something I was plugging into it. Um, you know, something that I'd stand or putting some regular pipe into it. But this is just gonna go into my emergency plumbing supplies. And it's just, uh, I'm really impressed. For less than $100, this is a nice sink. Uh, I have a plastic one that sits about this tall, only has a, uh, a sink area that's about this deep. So it makes it so I can't really wash anything in it. Over here I can actually wash my pots out if I need to. So that's really nice. But hey, I like it. I'm going to be happy with this thing. It's going to probably last forever. Um, anyhow, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Push that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Happy gardening. Have a great day.